Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological Cycle. I'm going to be talking about having a Sagittarius Sun and Capricorn Moon in a natal chart. Now, I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. What I'm talking about is um, having that Sun Moon combination in your natal chart Sagittarius Sun and Capricorn Moon. And um, the thing is, now the basic character, which is the Sun, and in this case, the sun being in Sagittarius can be very expansive, optimistic, um, exuberant, jovial, blunt, and self-righteous. And the thing is now with the unconscious side, which is the moon, the conscious represents the sun, the unconscious side, the moon. And the unconscious side being the moon, in this case, the moon being in Capricorn, uh, can be consistent, professional, disciplined, responsible, serious, and even depressive. Um, you have a, you know, like most, um, you know, sun moon combinations, you have a strong disparity in the energy of the sun and the moon. Um, Sagittarius sun, the basic fundamental character is very jocular and jovial, but with the moon being in Capricorn, you know, on the unconscious side, the person can be a little more negative, depressive, and melancholy, and more serious. So you have a very strong contrast in the conscious side and the unconscious side of this person. So this person is likely going to be a little more serious, you know, and, and you know, more, you know, would say discipline than the typical Sagittarius sun. Now, this person may bring, you know, that Sagittarius optimism you know, into something Capricorn related, which can include business, politics, government work, um, information technology, accounting, uh, or dentistry as some examples. And um, the Sagittarius Sun, the Sun is about our basic wants. And the Sagittarius Sun uh, wants to explore, expand horizons, be that perpetual learner. And the Moon is about our emotional needs. And the Capricorn Moon, you know, needs structure, discipline, the career, um, authoritarian authority. And I mean, everyone, practically everyone needs a career but maybe more emphasized with the Capricorn moon as opposed to the other moon signs on average. And the thing is too, um, the sun in astrology is connected with our true self. And the true self, you know, the sun being in Sagittarius, and it can be enthusiastic, you know, jocular, philosophical, and optimistic. And uh, the inner self is the moon. In this case, the moon being in Capricorn can be a structured, premeditative, and ambitious. Um, the sun is about our drive and motivation. So this person, you know, the sun in Sagittarius may be driven and motivated, which is the sun, uh, to expand horizons and uh, express benevolence, which is Sagittarius. And a person with a Capricorn moon may do so, feeling more serious, you know, um, having more concentration. It can be through some kind of career as far as expanding the horizons goes. Uh, it may be, um, you know, attaining authority or something, um, you know, business related. And it could also be, I mean, when you look at this as well, um, you know, there can be more intensified focus, which is the sun. The sun is about our focus. And um, it, on the emotional needs, which is the moon, if there is a conjunction aspect between um, Sagittarius sun and Capricorn moon. Now, the conjunction aspect in astrology is zero degrees. I use a 10 degree orb if at least one personal planet is involved. In this case, of course, you have two personal planets that are involved. Let's say, for example, the Sagittarius Sun is at 26 degrees and the Capricorn Moon is at 2 degrees. That would form an out of sign um, conjunction aspect. Now, there's some astrologers and astrology enthusiasts that don't believe um, in out of sign um, aspects. I do. And I can illustrate you know, with this example with the conjunction. 
Now, I mean, and again, this, the Sagittarius Sun at 26 degrees and the Capricorn Moon at 2 degrees as an example, you're talking about a 6 degree disparity between the Sun and Moon position. Now, they may not be in the same sign, but when you have, you know, the planets, you know, in such close proximity, I would say there's still friction that exists between them and the aspect still um, applies. It's just more of a blending with those uh, energies since they're in different signs. Now, uh, and you would have um, another thing uh, too, is uh, you know the uh, the actions um, which are you know, the sun is about our actions, the moon is about our reactions and responses. And with the sun being in, in Sagittarius, you know, the actions again can be connected with expressing, you know, benevolence, goodwill, expanding horizons. And the reactions, uh, which is associated with the moon, and the moon being Capricorn, can be more, you know, disciplined and very rational and premeditated. Um, now, the sun in astrology um, is connected with the biological father, and having a Sagittarius sun, the biological father may actually be a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant, or embody those characteristics. With a Capricorn moon, you know, the moon is connected with the mother in astrology. With a Capricorn moon, the person's mother may actually be a Capricorn sun, moon, or ascendant, or embody those traits. Now, this is also about the perception of these people. So, with the Sagittarius sun, you know, the person may, you know, perceive the biological father is somebody that's optimistic, upbeat, enthusiastic, jocular, and jovial, but at the same time may perceive that the biological father is somebody that might be overly foolhardy, self-righteous, flighty, um, over-optimistic, and um, even reckless. And, um, and with the uh, Capricorn moon, you know, the person, you know, may perceive, um, you know, the mother you know, as somebody, you know, that's, um, you know, old, that's very, um, you know, disciplined, structured, you know, um, or, you know, the thing is, you know, you have, um, you know, again, it's a mother, you know, with the Capricorn moon, the person may perceive the mother, let's say, I could say that again, the person may perceive the mother as someone, you know, that's structured, disciplined, responsible, serious, um, consistent, orthodox, and conventional, but may also perceive the mother as somebody, you know, that's, um, you know, overly rigid, and transigent, cold, callous, and undemonstrative. And uh, when you have, um, you know, this combination, again, you have a very strong disparity, you know, with this energy, with the sun, and the moon, with the Sagittarius sun, you know, being very jovial and optimistic, the Capricorn moon on a more unconscious level may be more negative and pessimistic. And going back to the conjunction aspect, if you have this, you know, again, um, the Sagittarius sun and the Capricorn moon, if they're conjunct each other, it may increase the propensity of the biological father and mother being uh, together. Uh, throughout their lives, but the thing is, too, you also got to look at the individual sinistry that exists between in their charts because that's when you can see that more, the, you know, uh, more uh, compatibility and sinistry uh, between, you know, those people. So, and um, and the thing is, um, in a sense, you know, you look at the moon. The moon is about, you know, the sun is about, you know, our basic fundamental character. So. You know, the Sagittarius energy is more about, you know, what you understand about yourself consciously. And the, the moon being connected with our, you know, emotions is that, you know, the feelings and emotions of this you know, Capricorn moon person can be very, you know, dejected or person may often feel melancholy or despondent or sad, um, you know, which really, you know, it's the moon is that inner personality. So the Sagittarius sun, it may be, you know, person, other people may not always see that the moon is about, you know, is connected with who uh, we're close to home with. So it may come out more, that energy of the, Cap the Capricorn energy may come out more with people that you're close to home with. But anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner say, stay well.